everyone, it's Jessica, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you guys are fellow Ohana members already. So, today that I'm filming, it is actually my 25th birthday, which I'm having quite a bit of mixed feelings about. I don't feel like I'm 25. I mean, my neck kind of feels like it's like 75. I feel like my personality is about 85 and my heart is about five so i mean i'm just kind of all over the place about it but it is my birthday so when this video goes up it will obviously no longer be my birthday because it's going up on sunday and today is wednesday but i just really wanted to spend time with you guys on my actual birthday because you guys are my ohana as well and i mean what kind of birthday would it be if i didn't celebrate it with you guys too so today's video is a video that i've been hemming and hawing and trying to figure out when I wanted to do it, but it is a very large collective Disney haul. So I have things from all over the place, but my thought process is, is that if I film it today and have it up before I go to California, then I can put it all away finally, and then obviously I'll have room for all the things that I'll be buying when I'm in California. So one little thing that I just want to let you guys know that the week that I am gone, so this video is going up on Sunday, which is the 15th. So the week of the 16th onward, I will not be posting a video. I decided to take a brief intermission so that way I can, you know, just get really rejuvenated. Not that, you know, filming is a problem or anything, but I just felt like it would be a perfect time to kind of take a break. So I will not be posting a video the week of the 16th to whatever day that is, um, that, uh, that following Sunday. There will be no video from me, but make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media, on my Instagram, on Snapchat, and all of that so that way you guys can see what I'm getting up to in California. So with that long introduction out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and hop right on into the video. The first couple of items that I'm gonna share with you guys are from the new Disney Kawaii subscription service that I am subscribed to, which is called Tokyo Kawaii Club. So I did already receive my March one, but I received it at the beginning of April pretty much. So everybody had already posted their Tokyo Kawaii Club uh, March video. So I just decided that I was gonna go ahead and open it off camera. However, I did open it on an Instagram story. So again, make sure you guys are following me on my Disney Instagram so that way you guys do not miss out on any of the Disney magic. But I will quickly go ahead and show you the items that I did receive. Um, I'll give you a quick little background on Tokyo Kawaii Club. It is ran by a man named Michael who actually is originally from the States. He quit his job and traveled all the way to Tokyo to pursue his little business, which is the Disney Kawaii subscription service. There's two different forms that you can do, plus he also has gotcha mailers as well. Uh, which is super cool. So I will go ahead and leave the website down below for you guys if you guys are interested and want to go ahead and get your own Tokyo Kawaii Club little mailer envelope. But the items that I received for March is this adorable Winnie the Pooh tin. This is from the Tokyo Disneyland Resort and inside was little biscuits and honey, but I'm obsessed with this tin. The next item I received from my March mailer is my first ever Japanese Ufufi and it is Stitch and this is the Valentine's Day Stitch Ufufi and here is the tag for it. So obsessed and I do have some actual US Ufufi so I can kind of compare the texture and all of that to the ones that are from Japan themselves. The next item that I received was this little Baymax lens cleaner or device cleaner. You guys know I wear my glasses every day and obviously I have a smartphone and obviously I have a computer, but the packaging for this is so amazing. So you take the little cloth out and it is Baymax, which is so stinking cute. And this is from the Disney store in Japan. Next item I received, I'm so obsessed with because it is this amazing Rapunzel little coin pouch. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. It's so pastel. And gorgeous and it has her autograph on the back and this item is also from the Disney store in Japan and the final item that I received for my March Tokyo Kawaii Club 
was this super adorable pack of Toy Story stickers. There's all different characters you can get. You can get Woody and Jesse and Bullseye and Lasso and the Aliens and Buzz, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, Rex and Ham. And this item is also from the Disney Store in Japan. The next couple of items I got as birthday presents from my friend Jill and her and I both have a intense love for Disney. So the first item that she got for me, I am so stinking obsessed with. I've already briefly flipped through it. She's in love with hers because she has her own copy. But this is the Disney Who's Who A through Z, essentially a Disney dictionary. So this one is relatively new. It did come out in 2017. So it is up to date with Coco and Moana as well. But this book is so so amazing. You literally, I'm just going to pick a random page and we're just going to see who can't, well, I'm going to pick a random page and we're going to see what random characters we're going to learn about. And oh my gosh, I would turn to Lilo and Stitch. The next item that Jillian picked up for me is a pin and there's a big story behind this pin. Um, I, I'm not going to get into it, but it was so super sweet. She had to really like do some research, but this is a Disneyland Easter 2004 Lilo and Stitch pen, and this is absolutely gorgeous. So I know that this pin is from that time frame because if you get special event pins now, they're usually about $14 or $15, but this one was only $8.50. Oh my gosh, how the times have changed. And the last item that Jillian picked up for me is a pair of LuLaRoe leggings, which I'm not super into them, but she was so happy to bestow these upon me. They are so soft, so comfy. They did make me sweat a little bit, but that's okay. Um, but they are these Winnie the Pooh printed LuLaRoe leggings. Now, I'm not super LuLaRoe savvy, but to my knowledge, these are kind of hard to get your hands on. But I am so happy that she got them for me because they are so stinking cute. The next couple items that I have to share with you guys are apparel items, and I just dropped one on the floor. Oh, let me reach. Okay, so these three items are all from Box Lunch. That is honestly probably my favorite over Hot Topic at this point. But the first shirt that I'm gonna share with you guys, I will go ahead and insert a Instagram picture for you guys so you can see it in action. But Christopher and I got matching shirts while we were in Disney in February. His was Carl from Elf, and mine was Ellie. And this shirt is so amazing. Honestly, I was so shocked and so surprised and so proud of him that he actually found these himself and picked them out and said that we should wear them. So it is such a cute shirt. We have the C plus E over here. And then at the bottom, we have the grape soda pin, which is so amazing. I am obsessed with this shirt. Next two shirts are very recent, actually. I just got them this past Saturday, so April 7th. So they should be in box lunch or online. But the first one I'm literally obsessed with because you guys know I am a little pastel princess living in this very boring, colorless world sometimes uh but it is this super cute pastel rainbow little stitch shirt it is tie-dyed i am totally bringing this with me to california to do a bunch of fun things that i don't know yet but it is so so cute i just like how he's kind of upside down just like hey how's it going and then the last shirt is another one that actually my mother has requested that she get one as well this one is a little less colorful but it is this olive green color and it has Winnie the Pooh stacked on some honey pots trying to get into the little beehive well actually it's a teeter-totter so he's gonna jump and watch poor little piglet who does not look happy up to retrieve the honey the honey not the honey pot the beehive so again, this shirt is so cute and I cannot wait to wear it. Moving on from clothing, I picked this up for pretty much a steal because I had a gift card and it was like 30% off, but it is the complete tales and poems of Winnie the Pooh. This is the hardcover book and I've looked through it. The pages are absolutely beautiful. I only paid like $11 for this, which this 
is normally priced at around $40, $45. Oh my gosh. But I'm so happy to have this. Once I'm finished redecorating and stuff in here and have everything set up, I can't wait to show you guys. But right now it is sitting on one of these shelves with all of my other Disney books. And it's just so beautiful to look at. The next item that I picked up, you probably see it sitting just over here. I picked up a new Jim Shore figure because I realized it's been quite a bit of time since I've gotten a new one. So this is the one that I picked up and I will go ahead and show it to you out of the box. But it is one of the new Lilo and Stitch ones. And this is the part at the end of the movie where he goes to steal the big tanker gas truck and he saves the frog from getting run over. It is so cute and it, this one is quite a bit smaller but I did find this on Amazon for only like $24 and it is so cute. And again, this is gonna go up on my shelf with all of my other Jim Shore figures. All right guys, it's about that time. That time in every Disney haul video where we get into the plushes. I have regular plushes. I have Ufufi plushes. I have a couple of sums that once you see which ones they are, you're gonna be like, holy moly, has this been accumulating for some time. So we will start with the larger ones. And this one is, I guess, newer, but it's very hard to come by at the minute. So as soon as it came back in stock on mine, I ordered it. And honestly, I'm not super huge into the movie, but I love this plush and I love the part in the song that involves this plush. So this is Nana from Peter Pan and oh my gosh, is this the cutest plushie that you've ever seen. So my favorite part in the song is from You Can Fly and it's the part where they're all talking to Nana and they're like, come on Nana to go off to Neverland with them. So I just love, love, love her. This is the tag art for Nana and it is so adorable. And believe it or not, I only paid $12 for her because she was on sale, which is a good buy in my book. The next two plushies that I have to share with you guys are ones that a lot of people love. People love this movie so much and unfortunately it is a very underrated Disney movie, but it has touched the lives of pretty much everyone on planet Earth. I have the Todd and Copper plushes from The Fox and The Hound. So first of all, I love this movie with my whole heart, but it is a movie that I have to literally watch in moderation because I become hysterical throughout the whole movie. So it's definitely one that I love and adore. However, I can only watch it once in a while because it just gets me every single time. So here is Copper with his big floppy little ears. They're so, so cute. And then obviously here is Todd being super adorable as well. I like the fluffy details of his tail and his little tuffet of hair and little cheek, cheek furs. And then here is the tag art for Todd and Copper as well. I have in this small reusable bag a bunch of, well, here's a ball of hair from my cats. Thank you very much. I have in here a bunch of sums and a bunch of Ufufis. So I'm just going to set this on my lap and I'm just gonna start pulling out stuff because it's going to be a large surprise for me as well. The first one that I'm pulling out is also relatively new. This came out for Easter and you guys know I'm not super big fan of the micro sums, but I just thought this set was too cute to pass up on. So this is a Winnie the Pooh micro sum Easter set. So we have Pooh as a bunny, we have Eeyore as a bunny, we have Piglet and Tigger as a carrot, and then we have little old rabbit as a rabbit, obviously. And then it's kind of like a little patch of grass that they're hanging out in. But I just think this would be so cute for display for any holiday. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna go stick it on top of one of my little sum sum octagon shelves and just call it a day. But I was just happy that little old rabbit finally 
is being featured in something and can I just take a moment to express my angriness for the fact that the Disney Store UK has like all of Winnie the Pooh and Friends as plush. There's Owl, there's Rabbit, there's Kanga and Roo together. There's a big Roo plush like I just and you know what else they have? They have Ham from Toy Story as like a little coin bank. I just need these you guys so Either I'm gonna have to find a way to get it from the UK or I'm just gonna have to take a trip there solely for the purchase of those specific items because I just don't know what the state's problem is. People here like Winnie the Pooh. People here also want a ham coin bank. So like, can we just get with the program please? All right, back in and this is going to be Ufufi's now. So I recently purchased all of the Winnie the Pooh and Friends Ufufi's. So here's my thing. I love Zooms. Unfortunately, they're kind of like weaning their way out of the States. Still a big thing in Japan. Um, but Ufufi's also started in Japan, which obviously just makes me want to buy it more because I just love Japan and Japanese culture and all things kawaii and blah, 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 blah. So I picked up some uh, Ufufis, which are obviously the US version, so it's okay. But I did pick up all of Winnie the Pooh and Friends. So here we have Little Piglet, Pooh Bear, Tigger, and my favorite Eeyore. Next two Ufufis are two that I love so, so much. Um, I didn't get the whole collection, but I specifically got these two for a reason. So I got Grumpy, which is Christopher's favorite, and Dopey, which is my favorite. And the last two Ufufis that I picked up are ones that they carry all the time. So I got my two favorites out of the normal collection, Stitchers and Marie. Whew, that was a lot of Ufufis. Now, the final things that I have to share with you guys, I thought I had three. These are the Unicorn Sooms set. I only got two of them, and I honestly can't remember when they even came out, but I know it's been a long time. So I picked up Buttercup, which is from Toy Story. So, so cute. And I also picked up, this one is my favorite, and I'm so, so stoked because I missed out on the rest of Inside Out sums because I got on the bandwagon apparently too slow. But this is the Rainbow Unicorn, if we will focus from Inside Out. Can we just appreciate the amazingness of her as a sum because like, I'm drooling over here. I got a couple of ornaments that came in on clearance. And the first set is Chip and Dale. And they are so adorable. So they come with like little jingle bells. And obviously they have little nuts, which is so, so cute. And then I also picked up the Minnie and Mickey one, which is very similar to the Chip and Dale. I really like when they do Disney ornaments, but like Christmassy instead of just like basic characters. So these are some of my favorite and I think they would look so cute together with Chip and Dale. I also only picked up one mug, which is very surprising. Should I still be collecting mugs? Probably not. But I did pick up this one and this one I only paid like six dollars and some change for. But it is this amazing stitch one. So the actual mug part is his alien outfit. And then the little head is obviously stitch. And I think this is kind of like purpose to keep it warm inside. Um, but I just thought it was adorable and I just think it would be cute on a shelf. So yeah, I had to get this one. I don't remember if I told you guys the story about me trying to get Rex and Slinky home from my Walt Disney World trip last May. But for whatever reason, the Disney store got Rex in. Uh, so all I need right now is Slinky and obviously that ham piggy bank. Uh, but at the minute, that is not actually tangible for me to get a hold of but I can still get slinky so I picked up Rex and oh my gosh you guys I don't know if you guys know how excited I was to see him in the Disney store and yeah he's so cute he does talk so let's see what what my buddy's gonna say hi there I'm Rex Whew. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hope you guys had a snack or some lovely beverage of your choice 
while getting through this video because we are coming up to the last three items and two of them are not super exciting but I do have the copy of Coco that I picked up and pre-ordered and I also have my copy of Cars 3 that I also picked up and pre-ordered but since this haul has been brewing for quite some time I still have my Coco lithographs for you guys because I was able to pre-order it pick up the lithographs and then go back and pick up my copy of Coco so yeah this is just you guys know my spiel on the lithographs I love them so much so this is gonna go in my box with all of my other lithos and then obviously these are gonna go with my DVD collection and last but certainly not least I have a game not only is it a game, but it is a game that I love so much and I'm so glad that Barnes & Noble had this. I think I only paid like maybe $25 for it, but it is the Disney Monopoly. And oh my God, you guys, the little characters that you can be to go around the board. We have a Baymax themed one. We have a Honey Pot. I haven't even played this yet, but I'm telling you right now, I got this before Christmas. So, Maybe next time I shouldn't let the haul grow to be this large. But if you guys like that the haul is this long and this large, comment that down below because um, a girl can binge purchasing and just leave it in the corner for some odd months and then finally get around to filming it. So just let me know if you guys like the smaller Disney hauls or the larger, longer Disney hauls. Holy moly, is my room a mess at the minute, but thank you guys so, so much for joining me on my birthday. Well, when you see this, it's not gonna be on my birthday, but to me, you guys are joining me on my birthday to spend some time with me. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this large collective Disney haul because it's been, a, it's been quite, quite a time brewing. Also, make sure if you guys haven't already and you like to that you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel for all things Disney and all kawaii things as well because I upload every Sunday. So make sure you guys click the magical notification bell so that way you guys get the notification when I upload. Also, if you guys want, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Tumblr. The links for those are always listed down below in the description box for you guys. I love our Ohana so, so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!